treacherous to say the least. Welcome to the Four Wheel Drive TV Challenge. Two special episodes from the Springs 4x4 Park. This is the first time we've run this event in Queensland. This week, our focus is the rigs that we'll be racing. So let's check out a very different episode of Life Off-Road. We're up north for a bit of off-road fun and I've called on a few mates to see who might be up for a challenge and they've responded in force with a diversity of tough rigs ready to rumble. We're at one of my favourite 4x4 hotspots, the Springs 4x4 Park. So let's catch up before going into a full rundown on the rides we'll be running today. I came out here earlier in the year to the Springs 4x4 Park for the first time. Fell in love with it, the tracks are great, the amenities are good. Lucas and Michelle, the owners, are really passionate about off-roading and what they've got here and want to keep it nice and pristine. We figured this is a good opportunity for us to sponsor the park. There's lots of things you can do. You can set up camp, be nice and peaceful, go drive the tracks or get out wheel and test your vehicle and yourself and have a guided tour. Lucas is more than happy to take you around. They'll accommodate anything you want to do. Do you want me to do the clap? No. no. <laughs> Sorry. G'day guys and welcome, thank you for all for coming. I found that amusing. I'm Leon, I'm here today at Springs. I'm one of the branch managers in Queensland. We distribute Piranha products. This is my MY19 Colorado. We've had it for a few years now. It might be a while since you've seen this. We'll start with the wheels. We've got some dynamic with 32 inch, the ST Max, two inch Piranha lift. 50 mil in the front and the rear. If you come around the back here, we've taken an extra leaf out. We're also running our four-way adjustable Piranha suspension, which is a great advantage for when you're towing. The Heyman Reese bar is something we've fitted off the market. We're lucky enough to have been hooked up by, oh who did it? Pacemaker have hooked us up with a nice three and a half inch from the DPF back, which also gives it a very nice note. Put some of the V8s to shame out here. A lot of people have asked whether I've had the motor change, but we're still running the standard 2.8 turbo diesel from Holden. We've got a cheeky little 180 watt and a drive solar panel. And when you're parked up for that day or two, keeps the battery nice and charged. This is one of our powder coated aluminium trays. One of the tougher trays on the market. And if we have a look in the back here, We've got our new 30 amp DC to DC with a solar input. Keeps the lithium battery nice and charged while off-road. And we've got a cheeky little 600 watt inverter in here as well for all laptops, phones. If we move around to the front, we've got our own Australian made battery tray for the Colorado. She's a bit dusty under there from the track in, but she does the job quite well. We do our own DC 12 volt converter, find it quite well with the variable alternators now. Gives us that extra bit of torque when we need it in the lower range. And then up front, we've got our seven inch driving lights. And on the roof, we've got our new light bar, which is in testing. Safari snorkels, keeps the water out of the air box. Equipment have hooked us up with a nice bull bar, scrub bars, and some rock sliders, which we're probably going to need knowing Simon. Go, 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 go. Oh, into it, into it, into it, give it. We'll go have a look at the kitchen side, as we call it. We've got some extendable mirrors, which is really great for towing. Not so good for off-road. I find them to be a bit like elephant's ears. They get in the way. And this is my favorite section in here. Drop slide and, yeah, bulletproof Mike Coolman. 23 litre fridge, which is great for those cheeky weekends away with the family. You've got your 12 volt oven, cook the pies on the road. I recommend everyone get one. In the future, we'd like to go from the two inch to maybe a four inch lift, and I'd like to stick some 35s underneath. We try and only fit products that we sell, but if we're gonna be competing out here a bit more, I think we need to open the purse strings and spend a bit more coin, Grant. 
So that was a quick rundown of my MY19 Colorado here at Springs. Hope to shake a few people tomorrow when we get out and hit some tracks. Hey folks, I'm Ruben from DMW and this is my beautiful daughter Hannah. Hi. And today with me, I've got this Nissan Patrol with one of my awesome locker boxes on the back. What do you reckon of this car, Hannah? Oh, I love it. I'm convincing Dad to make it my first car. <laughs> we'll get in there. Yeah. <laughs> She's wishing. Hannah, what do you reckon? We show them around the rig? Yeah. Well, what we've got here is we've got the Razzler bar up the front. Now, I went to the Razzler bar because I reckon it looks absolutely epic on the GU. We've got the DMW winch fair lead and the hook on the front, but I haven't got any spotlights yet, so I'm probably going to be working on that on the meantime. Obviously, I've got the GME UHF in there. You need to uh, have comms to chat to everybody. Now, if you come around this way, Everyone goes for black wheels these days. I wanted to have some shiny ones. Now, these are from Dynamic Wheel Co. They're Nido grapplers. I've been using them for a while. They're pretty reliable tire, but I reckon I'm probably gonna run some Mickey T's next time. These aren't quite hooking up well enough for me. Now, back here. It holds so much style. Yes, absolutely. We have our DMW locker box. Now, it's got a divider in the middle. It's got a fridge on one side and it is 50-50 split. So we have got all our camping gear, except for our swags, in this section right here. Now have a crack at this. It doesn't all fall out on me. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Ah, it's still in there! What do you reckon, Hannah? We show everyone at home how much stuff fits into one half of a DMW locker box. A lot. <laughs> Well, have a crack at all the stuff you can fit in one half of our DMW locker boxes. You know, we've got a couple of cases there and all that sort of stuff. But have a look at this. This is super cool. Hello. It even fits your 15-year-old daughter. So if they are playing up, top spot for them. Or you can even sleep in there. <laughs> there you go. See you later. Bye -bye. Catch you in the morning. Quick, 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 quick. This tray was actually on the car when I bought it, and I don't reckon that I needed to change much of it. I reckon it looks pretty tough, and the wheeling that I'm doing in this particular car needs to take a beating. Yeah, the back here, we've just got the spare and uh, I've got a couple of swags there. And I haven't done anything for proper recovery points back here, so we haven't DMWized it at the back. We haven't put any tow hitches or anything like that. It's a pretty simple rig run down. But up the front, it is a bit spicy though. It's got 12 mil pump. It's got big front mount intercooler. It's got front and rear diff locks. We've got the aftermarket air cleaner. We've got a bigger turbo. We've got the 12 mil pump. We've got some homemade Handy work with the front mount intercooler all under here. But all I know is that when you put that throttle down, this thing absolutely soots. What do you reckon of that? I reckon Ruben just laid some nuggets on that seat. The camera's not gonna do it justice, but man, he was on a serious angle. So you are getting a sticker, my friend. Get some Mickey Thompson tires on it next time and you'll just walk up it.
I brought out the infamous Battle Axe, which is a GU Patrol, 4.2 litre turbo diesel, and just a weapon of a truck. Big suspension lift, 35 inch tyres, front and rear ARB air lockers, all the bar work, ARB bull bar, winch, spotties, the whole lot. I just had to share with you guys the Superior 5 link suspension setup. It's just been performing flawlessly. So we've got heaps and heaps of droop on the driver's side here across this rut and heaps of compression on the other side. So if you have a look at the car, the car is still reasonably level. Without the 5 link setup in the front of this thing, it would feel ugly as. We've also got the Superior long arm kit fitted in the back end. It's hard to see on film. But with a short arm, which is the factory mount location, this tyre, as it drops down, it pulls in. So this tyre ends up steering the back of the car in a different direction to where you want to go. But with that long arm kit, it's still straight. We have had this on this Battle Axe maybe about four or five months, and you've seen the videos and you've seen what we've done with this truck. It gets punished, it gets flogged, the tyres do the same thing, and they still look brand new. There's a little bit of chipping and a little bit of scratching, which absolutely I can understand. If I was just cruising up and down the highway, it wouldn't have any of that. But when you're on full song, going up Air Clock Hill and the likes, you can't expect anything less. <laughs> have a look at this. Like, fair dinkum. That's a 90 degree fold in the sidewall of that tyre. I just wanted to show you these Pro Comp rims and just how good the beadlock rim really is. These rings on the internal side have ribs and these massive biters that chew into the bead of the tyre just to really lock it in place. We've had these sort of situations with other brands and other tyres and they just fall off the bead. It's got all the gear and I just love wheeling around this park. There's nothing better than owning a park and enjoying your own backyard. We have a 2016 Jeep JK Wrangler, mainly used by our company for off-road weekends. Really, on-road, they're not that great, but off-road, they come into their own. They really do. A few modifications, these vehicles are second to none. Up front, we've got the Mickey Thompson branded front bar. We've got worn X2 a winch. Excellent winch, 9,000 pound. Got me out of a lot of trouble. We've got a tiny little Marvel light on the front, but hey, it does the job. At night, it really lights up where we want to go. We mainly use this for off-road, and it works perfectly. Moving around the side of the vehicle, the suspension setup on this is a little bit unique. We've got the ARB springs. We've got Edelbrock shocks and we've got Pro Comp arms, along with the Mickey Thompson MT Metal series wheels and the 315 17s, so basically 35s in the Baja Boss All Terrain, which have taken us everywhere we want to go. Pretty much the difference between the AT and the MT is the tread pattern. The carcass construction is identical. The AT is a more closed in sort of pattern, so it's better on road. The MT is more an aggressive tyre, so what it's going to do is actually give you the grip, especially at lower pressures. Between the two tyres, it's up to you which one you choose, but both will do an awesome job. On the rear of the vehicle, we've got a Wild Boar Products canopy, and as you can see, it's a little bit different. It's actually angled on the rear. We've got the Mickey Thompson rear bar, high lift jack mount, UHF, it's actually a very solid rear bar with some really good recovery points on it and spare wheel carrier. Under the bonnet, standard V6 3.6 Pentastar motor, but we've added the Banks Ram Air, which actually makes a hell of a difference. We've also got the ARB compressor mounted in the engine bay, and that is not only good for reinflating your tyres after a weekend, but it runs the air lockers front and rear, which we have. ARB air lockers, we wouldn't run anything else. Really off the road, this thing is fantastic. It really is. And he's just eating that hill. Jeff, you're the man, you've earned yourself a sticker. See you at the office. 
Sadly, this weekend, I don't get to drive or compete. I'm running the event. My vehicle of choice is the Austrac Campers Tanami X11. It might not be as fast as the other vehicles we're featuring this week, but for me personally, it keeps me comfortable, relaxed, and ready for a big day of off-roading. It's a camper that packs some serious punch. For off-road conditions and to get that little bit further, you've got that full, independent coil suspension with twin shock absorbers. It's easy to tow, it's extremely comfortable, it comes complete with a full king-size bed. And for camping comfort, it's got a full shower, toilet and vanity unit inside and an amazing kitchen outside that's one of my favourites for preparing a whole range of delicious meals and treats for my crew. So for individuals or couples, if you're travelling, camping, touring or just getting away to have some fun, my pick is the Tanami X11. It certainly keeps me comfortable when I'm out on these trips. So we've got our Nissan Navara here. It's a MP300 2019 model. 2.3 litre turbo diesel, got about 120,000 k's on it now. It's a reps car from a day-to-day -day operation. We love being able to get out and go full driving, but it also has to run the business at the same time. Let's jump in and have a closer look. So the first thing we did to our Navara when we got it was fit our Direction Plus ProVent catch can. Critical when you're touring Australia. Any modern common rail diesel engine motor needs to have a catch cam. Otherwise, you are just running all of those blow-by gases back into your intake and it's like cholesterol. Over time, you'll lose performance, your fuel consumption will go up and eventually it'll get blocked and you'll need to clean it out. A catch can will stop all that happening. Like most four-wheel drivers, we've put a full bar and full bar work on this vehicle across the board, fitted with the light bar to make sure that we can see everything at night time. If we move around to the back of the vehicle, so a solid rear bar is a critical piece of equipment. It has saved us plenty of panel damage. Last time we went driving with Simon Christie, we got a battle scar to prove it. They come in handy and it's doing its job. You know what I say? Direction plus, the first line of defense. <laughs> We've elected to run a really aggressive all-terrain tyre. Because these cars spend so much time on the tar, it gives it good manners and fairly quiet, but we do get pretty good traction off-road when we're out here. The size we're running is a 285-65-18, which gives us about an extra one inch clearance, which helps when we're trying to keep up with some of these bigger vehicles. Moving a little bit further down the vehicle, we've got our side steps here, which get a workout. They do touch down steel, but also give us a great step to get up on the roof for loading. So one of the great things about the Navara is the coil springs in the rear. That's great because when we drive them on road, they're nice and soft but we've put a two inch lift in this vehicle, so it's springs and shock. It gives us that extra bit of clearance whilst keeping us legal. So we run canopies on the back of all of our vehicles. It keeps the water out and the weather, and it gives us great easy access to anything that we've got in the back. Just uh, easily flip these up, access from the side or all three sides. So the other piece that this canopy does for us is whilst it keeps everything secure, dry, gives us great peace of mind because everything's lockable. So we can lock it up, away you go. Woo! <laughs> it's a great jack of all trades, the Nissan Navara. It's a great family car, it's got five seats. Get them comfortably from on-road to off-road. Factory rear locker, two inch lift, it's got really good manners, easy to drive and easy to park. Well guys, they're the vehicles that we'll be racing next week. So make sure you're watching Life Off-Road as we hit the Springs 4x4 park for the first ever Queensland 4 Drive TV Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice and slow. <gasps> Let's give it a red hot shake, eh Simon? <laughs> High five! Yes, darling! <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go!